Great War forever changed world history, and a hundred years later, we are still feeling its effects. When Britain declared war on Germany on August 4, 1914, Canada, a dominion within the British Empire, was automatically at war. The next four years would profoundly transform the nation. The country turned its economy to the war effort. The farms fed our allies, and factories armed the soldiers. Hundreds of thousands of Canadians served in the war and distinguished themselves on the battlefields of Second Deep, Vimy, Passchendaele, the Hundred Days Campaign, and many more. Canada made great sacrifices and paid an enormous price. The national debt increased fivefold to nearly two and a half billion dollars. War production caused runaway inflation and labor unrest. And then there was the issue that deeply divided the country, conscription. It wasn't as clear cut as the French being against it and the English being for it, but that's how it was perceived at the time. Resentment ran deep on both sides of the issue and would haunt Canadian politics for decades to come. But the greatest price the country paid was in blood. Out of a population of fewer than 8 million, more than 620,000 Canadians served in uniform. Of these, more than 66,000 died and another 170,000 were wounded. One in every three soldiers was killed or injured. The equivalent today with our population of 35 million would be 250,000 dead and over 750,000 wounded. The numbers speak for themselves. The Great War was a major turning point in Canadian history. Some historians call it Canada's War of Independence. Canadians should commemorate the war centennial, not celebrate it. We must remember the First World War for the changes it brought and the price Canadians had to pay.